and talk about what happened, and then I'll give you the uh, latest as of a couple hours ago. Today, 47 ABC's Jordy Clark has more details on the incident. Jordy, what can you tell us about this? Hey, Hannah, police say Keith Heacook, the officer who was assaulted, responded to a fight in progress at Yorkshire Estates in Del Mar. Heacook got involved in a physical altercation there and was found unconscious at the scene. He was taken to Title Health before being transferred to shock trauma in Baltimore. Meanwhile, police say an elderly couple across the street were also badly beaten and multiple people were taken into custody. Maryland State Police, the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office, and Del Mar Police are assisting with the investigation. There will be a vigil for the officer, and we will have more on this tonight, so tune in at 10 on The CW and at 11 on ABC. Reporting in studio, Jordy Clark, 47, ABC. All right, so basically, um, Del Mar Police Corporal Keith Heacock dispatched to Buckingham Drive in Yorkshire Estates for a report of a fight in progress. Gosh, okay. Okay, when he got there, he was beaten himself. Mm. Pretty bad. Uh, also, right near that area, there was an elderly couple across the street that were also beaten. Okay, now, here is the update that I got this morning uh, from Channel 47. It kind of happened overnight. Delaware State Police have made an arrest... And the assault case, which happened Sunday morning, 30-year-old Randon D. Wilkerson mm -hmm. was arrested in connection with the assaults that occurred on Yorkshire Estate. Wilkerson is now facing the following charges. Attempted murder, three counts of assault, two counts of possession of a deadly weapon during the commission of a felony, burglary, and ter uh, terroristic threatening. Wilkerson was arraigned at the Justice of the Peace Court 3 and committed to Sussex uh, Correctional Institute on $451,000 cash bond. This is an active and ongoing investigation, and more details will be released as they become available. Ooh. So, you know, we send, of course, our thoughts and prayers going out to the officer, the elderly couple. Absolutely. Just everyone involved. Just very sad uh, situation was going on. You know, people are rallying around this Terrible. Del Mar officer. Terrible. It's all a bunch of local businesses and, you know, other police departments on social media, you know, send their prayers going out to the officer. Mm hmm you know, he's responding to a call. Yep. And he gets there and, you know, gets beaten himself. It's unbelievable. Mm. No, that's awful. It's terrible. When I saw the news yesterday and then the story continued, you know, trending and then the family members got on one post and I was reading all the comments and it's just so, so sad. We'll go ahead and, uh, you know, go over the story again. Coming up during your headlines, but just want to jump on here first off the bat and give you an update. Mm -hmm. So, again, we send our uh, thoughts and prayers going out to the police officer. And, and I keep hearing over the police officer, also the elderly couple. I know. You know, as well. Yep. Both. So, 625. It's a Bill and Jessica show. Good morning. We have your Crayola factory to 